What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new Next Dock 360. And basically what this device allows us to do is turn our Android device into a laptop. As long as your Android device supports HDMI or display over USB Type-C, we can connect it to the NextDock 360 and add a 13.3 inch touch display, keyboard, trackpad, and quad speakers. Now personally, I like using these with my Samsung Galaxy S devices because they do support DeX, and if you're not familiar with DeX, basically it's kind of a desktop interface built into their Android operating system. And nowadays, there's a couple different phone manufacturers that are doing this. We have the Motorola Ready 4, and Huawei also has their own little desktop style operating system. But for this video here, I'm going to be using the Samsung Galaxy S21. And we're also going to test this out with some other devices like a Raspberry Pi because this does have HDMI built in also. Now keep in mind, even if your phone doesn't support something like DeX, as long as it does video over USB Type-C, you can connect it to the NextDock 360. As you can see here, we've got a 13.3 inch IPS display trackpad, nice keyboard, and along with the NextDock 360, we're also going to receive some accessories like a full-size to mini HDMI cable, USB Type-C to USB, kind of an OTG adapter, a USB Type-C with a 90-degree USB Type-C, and a quick charger for the NextDock itself because it does have a built-in 44-watt-hour battery, and this will allow us to charge up our phone while it's connected, plus the built-in battery is going to power the screen on the NextDock 360. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. I personally really love the design. It's very minimalistic. I mean, you wouldn't know that this wasn't a real laptop if you didn't really pick it up and turn it on. Got a beautiful trackpad, backlit keyboard. And since this is called the 360, we do have that fold over screen. Fully laminated 1080p, 13.3 inch, 10 points of touch on this thing. We've also got those built-in quad speakers. We have four one-watt speakers, and they're up top here, so you can hear them really, really well. I've tested some other docks on the channel, but uh, all those speakers are usually on the bottom, and it really muffles the sound. When it comes to I.O., over here on the left-hand side, we have our USB Type-C video in and micro HDMI, so anything that supports HDMI will work with the next dock 360. Over on the right-hand side, we have another USB port. This is for charging the internal battery. Micro SD card, because once this is connected to your device, it will work as an OTG SD card reader. We've also got our power button over here, and another USB Type-C port. Now this is really for OTG itself, in case you want to connect that adapter with different USB accessories. In order to get to the OSD on the next dock 360, just uh, swipe down with two fingers over here in the bottom right-hand corner. It's going to open up our OSD, and we have tons of control here. We can change the color profiles, there's a few built in. We can go to user profiles, control the brightness, volume, we can reset everything if we want to. And we can also change the input from HDMI to USB Type-C in case you have two things plugged in here at one time. But it's really easy to get to and I'm glad we don't have to mess with any kind of buttons over on the side. So connecting your device is super easy. We're going to plug one end of this USB Type-C cable into the next dock. We're going to plug the other end into our Android device. And my S21 is already set up to come up with DeX once it detects HDMI or display. And as you can see here, we've got DeX up and running. And the trackpad and keyboard work over USB Type-C. Plus, we have touch functionality. And one of the big reasons I personally really like DeX is because over on the phone itself, I'm still running Android 11 with one UI. And if I get a call or text over here, I'll get my notification. But in my other workspace where DeX is running, I can do anything I need to. I can even play games over here or just watch some videos if I want. There's another way you can connect your device, and that's over HDMI. I just have a cheap USB Type-C to HDMI dock. I'm going to plug my S21 in here. The dock is plugged in to the next dock over HDMI, and we're going to get DeX on the built-in screen. Now, personally, I don't like setting it up like this because since we're only connected over HDMI to the dock, we're not going to get any functionality out of the touch screen, the trackpad, or the keyboard unless we connect another cable. So if your device supports it, I would highly recommend just using USB Type-C over. Now, like I mentioned, as long as your device supports video over USB Type-C, it'll work with the next dock. What I have here is the Red Magic 6S Pro. It doesn't have any kind of desktop operating system like Ready 4 or even DeX, but it does support display over USB Type-C, so it's going to work with the next dock 360. We're going to get picture over here. I can use the touch functionality on the bigger screen. And uh, as you see, we're in portrait mode. We could flip this while we start up a game, 
But the Red Magic phones have something called Magic Time, which is kind of a game launcher, and it just makes it easier to use a bigger screen with these devices. I've also got a controller connected to the phone itself. All I need to do is connect it to the dock and start the game up on the phone. And to make it perfectly clear, the controller is not connected to the next dock. It's connected to the phone over Bluetooth. So this does support the Raspberry Pi 4, but there's a few things to know. We have to connect this a bit different because we don't have display over USB Type-C on the Pi. So we're going to need to connect our USB cable to the power on the next dock and an HDMI cable. Now with this Raspberry Pi 4 here, I'm running Raspberry Pi OS, and in order to get the keyboard and trackpad working over that USB Type-C cable, you will have to put this in the config.txt. Just put it in there with whatever application you like using, and once it's connected correctly, you can power this up. And since we have the config set up correctly, we can now use the trackpad, keyboard, and touch over USB Type-C on the Pi 4. And keep in mind, we're now totally battery powered here with the Raspberry Pi 4. So uh, if you want to take this with you, it's pretty easy to do. But we do have a mess of cables because unfortunately, the Pi does not support display over USB Type-C. It would be absolutely amazing if it did. We'd only need one cable here. And as you can see, Touch is working with the screen. But you know, everything's a bit small at 1080p with Raspberry Pi OS. So I would probably take this to 720p if I wanted to use this as my main display for my Pi. The next dock 360 also has an auto rotate feature, so if you did want to kind of fold this screen back and just use it as your main touch display, it's going to work out just fine. It automatically sets up the correct orientation once you have it folded back enough. I'm not a big fan of using touch with Raspberry Pi OS, but it's here if you want to use it this way. I know I'm going to have a few people asking, but uh, yes, the Nintendo Switch does work with this. We've got display over USB Type-C, or you could go HDMI with the dock if you want to, but unfortunately, touch isn't going to work with the next dock. That's just how the Nintendo Switch is set up. The only way I've been able to get touch working on the Switch is on the built-in screen. And finally here, which I completely understand isn't the most practical, but uh, I think that I could get some use out of this. My whole setup would actually fit inside of a book bag. I've got the Xbox Series S here with the next dock 360 connected over HDMI playing Forza Horizon 5, really awesome game, and I think it looks great here at 1080p. We've got a 60Hz display, and it plays just fine. I could definitely carry this around, and right now the next dock is working on battery power, but we could charge it up directly from one of the USB ports on the Xbox itself. So overall, I'm a big fan of the Next Dock 360. I've used a couple of these in the past from Next Dock, and I really never had any complaints about them. This is definitely one of the best that they've released so far. I love the fact that we can kind of fold this over like a two-in-one. It's got a great keyboard and trackpad built-in. The built-in quad speakers are a plus, but they don't put out much bass at all. I mean, they are a bit tinny because they're just small one-watt speakers, but they will get you by with a little setup like this. Now, my main use case scenario for something like this is with my Samsung Galaxy phone and DeX, but as you saw in this video, there's tons of different things that we can connect to this, and since it's portable, it makes it really easy to throw it in your bag and carry it around, and when you need it for something that supports HDMI or display over USB Type-C, you've got a display, keyboard, trackpad, and speakers ready Ready to go. So if you're interested in learning more about the next dock 360, I will leave a few links in the description. And if you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on this or connected to this, just let me know in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.